Pew Research Center has stated that the millennials are projected to be the largest generation by 2050. So with this in mind, Experian examined the business credit trends of millennial business owners to see how their behaviors might impact small business. In this business Q&A, I asked Andrea Schmolzer about her research in this new Experian white paper. Hi Andrea, can you tell us a little about the data set you analyzed for your study? Hi Gary. In this study, what we did was we looked at small businesses during the year 2012, 2015, and 2017. We then segmented the data by generation. For millennials, we looked at anybody born between 1981 and the year 2000. There are various ranges for defining millennials. However, this is definitely within the standard range of the definition. In terms of small business, how large is the millennial segment today? So the millennial segment is actually still a smaller segment of the business community at about 7%, but they are growing quite rapidly. Since 2012, they've grown about 92% in small businesses. Whereas if you look at the baby boomers, they've only grown by 11%. So there's definitely substantial growth happening within the millennial owned business area. And what are the industries that millennials are most concentrated in? So the millennials are concentrated in basically the same industries as all other generations. We do see about 44% of all small businesses owned by millennials in the services industry. So that can be anything from a nail salon to a medical doctor. We then have about 18% in retail trade. So that's any goods that you're going to be buying for personal use. And then about 12% are focused in on construction industries. Finally, do millennials represent an opportunity for lenders? And if so, how? Absolutely. Um, what we're seeing is a really strong decreasing trend in delinquency rate for millennials. So back in 2012, we were seeing about 18% delinquency rates. Currently in 2017, what we're seeing is about 9%, which is totally in line with all other generations. We're also noticing their business credit scores improving year over year, as well as their longevity. So by year five, their business survival rate is stronger than any other generation. So at this point, it looks like the millennials are starting to figure out the way the businesses work, how to use credit wisely. So there's definitely room for lenders to appeal to this segment. Well, Andrea, thanks so much for sharing your insights on millennials with us. And folks, if you would like more information on this research, I'll leave a link in the description of the video.